Today we're going to show you how to make a cutout in the back of a drawer box for plumbing. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first step is to open a job, drag in a cabinet. Oh, I just made an autofill. Undo that. First thing you want to do is drag a cabinet in, create a job, and go up to the library's drawer boxes. Next thing you want to do is find your existing drawer box style, and you're going to copy that drawer box. We're going to call this HC Cutout Drawer. Click OK. Then you're going to go to your Shape button right here. This is going to bring up the Shape Editor for a drawer. Click this little box right here and you'll be shown a top view of a drawer with a cutout at the back. This sample box width is going to give you an option to set your test width of the drawer box. If you're setting up a 36 inch, for example, you're going to maybe do a 34 inch drawer box. And this gives you just a visual representation of what the drawer will look like with your current parameters set up. Same with your depth and height. The height's not as relevant. Then you're going to go to this edge lengths. In this dimension or in this uh, schematic here, you have your A, B, C, and D uh, sides here. That is indicated here by these number boxes right here. And you're going to change those to however you want them to land. Say you want your sides to be four inches. Another thing you should note is this lock button right here will maintain the dimension you put in parametrically if you want it to stay where it is. Otherwise, it will stretch equally across as you as the drawer box stretches out. This one here, I'm going to set it back to 4, and I'm going to lock that one as well. You'll see that it, under C, it, you, you won't have the option to lock it, or you will, but when you lock it, another one will unlock. That way, it still remains parametric. Your D is your depth from back to this edge here. So let's set this to something like 12. Then you have your joint types, which is going to give you A into D. I'll just give you a quick sh show you how that changes it. As you can see, the D edge now is overlapping the A. We'll change that back. We'll change this one. Again, this one is changing the overlap from D to B. And this one here is going to change the overlap for this edge right here from D to C. Next, you're going to decide whether you want dados on any of these parts. If you're going to do dados, bear in mind that you may end up with some flip side machining parts. You may want to do no dados so that it's just all single sided machining but experiment with that this is essentially set up this remains the same so i'm going to go into a cabinet you're not necessarily going to use this for every cabinet in a complete job you could if you wanted to but i don't see why you do that so in order to activate that drawer box you're going to go to this face tab then you're going to select whichever drawer boxes you want to have the cutout override and then you're going to override that drawer box to your cutout drawer when you see that when you change the cutout drawer you can edit the shape here this will allow you to modify this on this particular drawer so this is scaled to the actual drawer you're using for example if i want this to be four inches well you can't hit enter because it's going to make it close but we're going to click enter we're going to change b to four we need to unlock the C dimension. So four and four. As you can see, it's jumping around a lot. These lock buttons are important to get this to how we want it to be. So A, I want to be four. Let's say B, we want to be four as well. We're gonna lock that. And then the D depth, we want to be eight. Oh, hit enter and it closed it. Okay, change that to eight. And we click okay, click okay. And then we're going to open up our editor here and hit perspective. As you can see, that drawer box is now a cutout drawer. 
It's got a full cutout in it. Do that for every drawer box you wish to override. I'll do it one more time so you can see. You're gonna go to the drawer you just made, edit shape. You're gonna pick your sides that you need. I'm gonna say four, lock it, four, lock it. And then this was eight, lock it again, click OK, click OK. And as you can see now, two of them have a cutout drawer. Potentially this one could be just a falsy. This is relevant to a wood drawer box, plywood drawer box or melamine drawer box, not really to a metal side drawer box. Mosaic hasn't come out with an exact setup for those yet. And if they do, come back here and we'll check it out. For that, for now, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you're eager to dive deeper into Mosaic, enhance your shop, or explore the possibilities with CNC routers and 3D printing, you're in the right place. Your feedback drives our content, so subscribe to stay updated with the latest tutorials and tips. Watch out for our next video. Full disclosure. I've been using artificial intelligence to do my thumbnails. Aww. Shocked. I know. You're shocked. However, I asked ChatGPT to make me some thumbnails for this video. It's quite funny. ChatGPT, make me an image showing a drawer box cut around plumbing. <laughs> Try again. The drawer box is shaped like a U, going around the plumbing at the back of the cabinet. Who's wrong here? Who's dumb? Is it me? I don't think it's me. Maybe it's me. <laughs>